Hey Frag Fam, welcome to today's video from Proverbs 27 9 Fragrances. And uh, today we'll be looking at a fragrance from the house of Boss, and it is the scent. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We upload for, uh, fragrance videos every Monday and Friday, and every once in a while we'll drop an extra video on either a Wednesday or sometimes even on uh, the weekend. So make sure that you hit the notification bell. That way you're notified every time we deliver that sweet smelling content. All right, the scent is a 2015 release. The nose behind the fragrance is Bruno Jovanovic and Pascal Garin. Top notes are ginger, mandarin orange, and bergamot. Middle notes are maninka and lavender. Base notes are leather and woody notes. If you've never smelled this fragrance, um, it is in the wheelhouse of Mercedes-Benz Club Black, maybe mixed with a little bit of Bentley for Men Intense. There's this leathery, um, spicy, very subtly sweet. It's not a sweet fragrance, but there is a little bit of a sweetness there from that Maninka fruit which Maninka fruit kind of smells like chocolate dipped strawberries, which is really neat. It opens with this spicy um, citrusy blast, that ginger and that mandarin orange blends really well together to give it kind of a different citrus opening. It doesn't smell um, like most really, you know, juicy citruses this is just kind of a spicy almost dry citrusy opening it smells really good uh, and then then you get that that kind of sweetened sh chocolatey strawberry blended with the lavender which is the maninka and the lavender it, it begins to come in pretty quickly and then you're left with that nice woody leathery base it's a little bit ambery even though amber is not mentioned in the notes but I, I think that there is definitely some sort of resinous quality to it uh, very good this is a a good uh, cool to cold weather scent I don't think I'll be rocking this in the spring or the summer Maybe if it's a cooler evening, you could definitely wear this. Smells more like a nighttime cool weather fragrance. That's what I get from it. Um, all right, we doing star ratings. And so our star ratings are based on four Ps. That is projection, performance, price, and the perfume, how well it smells. So on projection, this um this is a an average to slightly maybe slightly above but really I'm just going to call it an average projector. Um, I'm going to give it 2.5 stars right there in the middle. Um, it projects really well for the first you know 30 minutes to an hour. Then after that it starts to sit pretty close. Um, performance wise, it's good. It's not great. I'm going to give it three stars. You know, you're going to get about five to six hours, or at least I do. You may get more. Um, it's not a beast mode fragrance. Um, I'm told that the, the Parfum edition is a better performer. Uh, then for the price, you know, you can pick this up from discounters for less than 50 bucks. So it's great on price. I'm going to give it a four star for price. And then the most important thing is the perfume. And 
it's good, not great. Um, again, it's like a, I would say it kind of smells like it would maybe fit in with the Wanted by Night line by Zara, only it's not nearly that sweet, which is a good thing to me. I don't like overly sweet fragrances, but it has that same sort of DNA. So if you like Wanted by Night, but you're wanting something that's maybe a little um, less sweet, then this would go good there. Again, evenings, cold weather leather jacket you could dress it up um it's not a tuxedo fragrance it's not sporty like a gym fragrance so it's somewhere in the middle there and uh perfume wise i'm gonna give it um i'm gonna give it a three so slightly i mean really right there in the middle um in fact on projection no, I'm going to leave it the way I did it. So the perfume, I want to say it's a three-star fragrance. So we've got a total of 12.5 stars. So this is a solid three-star fragrance, uh, which is middle of the road. It, it, it has a very good modern scent. You know, the, probably the majority of you would rate it higher, honestly. I have a little bit, I would say maybe a slightly more old school, um, although I'm definitely not in that, you know, uh, I'm not out looking for discontinued fragrances and buying, you know, vintage 80s and things of that nature. But I, I think I have a little bit more of a mature um, fragrance preference. So younger, you know, a teenager could wear this, but, but this is going to be the um, probably the more of the classier and upscale in in a teenager's repertoire but if you're in their 20 and early 30s this could be your signature scent it could be your night out scent uh, it could do a lot of good things for you uh, mass appealing it's not offensive there's nothing in it that smells funky or off-putting and so i think it's a good solid fragrance not one of my favorites my oldest son he loves it so there you go he's 20 23 all right, that's um, Boss Bottle the Scent. Let me know what you think. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, like the video. Please leave us a comment. And until we see you down the road, we say God bless. Frag on, Frag fam.